Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shellstool and this is another tutorial for modding space engineers. In this episode we'll be covering empties. For this specific block, going to layer 1 now, I have one empty that I need to take care of. And if you remember from the previous, one of the previous videos, that I deleted the gyroscope and that left this detector terminal 001 on my list of stuff here. Now this is what I need to actually have that yellow panel that you can click on in game to access the block. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and put it right about here and resize it a little bit and that'll give me a terminal and then I'll look at some other blocks with other types of empties. Alright, so first things first, I need to adjust the scale and I'm going to set it all to 1. I'm going to set the rotation to 0 and the location to 0. So now it's in the center. Now I want to snap it to the center here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit by doing a line here and then subdivide it so I have this vertex here to snap to. So I'm going to select my empty and I'm going to just grab and put my cursor over that vertex and it's right where I need it to be. So now I'm going to rotate the camera so I can see the side here and I'm going to snap the cursor to the empty and I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees backwards and that's going to give me a level looking panel in game and now I can scale the size a little bit but it's not exactly going to be a square that's as big as this empty here as this big plus sign that you see and that's not necessarily an issue but I do want it to somewhat match up to the size. So I'm going to scale it. It's about, I'm going to say, a couple small blocks wide, about two, and then probably about a small block thick. So I'm going to go with 0.5, and that's going to give me about the size here. And then it's going to be rather thin at 0.1. And I'm pretty okay with that. One thing to note is that you need to make sure that it's outside the collision mesh because if it's inside you might not be able to click on it. So make sure that whenever you put an empty down that you need to access as a player that it's outside of your collision mesh here. And that's pretty much all I needed to do for this block. But I would like to look at some others just so you have a better idea. Let me de delete this extra word vertice. So I'm going to look at some others to give you a better idea of what type of empties you might end up playing with. And I'm going to open up the drill and I'm just going to move it to the side. Alright, so on this one if I open this drop down you can see that there's a whole bunch extra empties. You can see that there's a terminal 1 to 5, a conveyor 1 to 5, and a subpart drill head. Now, a good portion of the empties that you mess with are going to be simple. You just name it and you give it a number sometimes, and that's pretty much all you have to do. But sometimes you'll run into something that has a subpart, like a drill. You can see that it doesn't have the end piece here, which is rather important. But how do we add it? Well, it's with this subpart drill head when you click on it and you go to the object data tab here you can see that the link to file is now active and we could put something into here now the drill for this example is named drill and the drill head for the vanilla one is I believe called drill head so I would put drill head in there and that would link to the MWM file that we would make for the drill head. Now, 
that piece doesn't actually have any empties in it. If I add it, I can show you right here. So if I scooch this over, you can see that it's just the model. Now this piece doesn't actually have any collision or anything like that. So you want to keep in mind that this is going to be a very simple model compared to this in terms of what you're going to have to put into it. And the way you know it doesn't have a collision model is when you're in game, you're able to fly through this front portion of the drill. Unless it's on and then you die. So as you can see, there's this orange dot here and that is the origin point of this block and it's important to know that that origin point is where this drill head is so if I snap this to the origin head you can see that it makes our drill and that's where it's going to rotate now it's also important to note that orientation also matters for thrusters, the orientation of the block matters in determining which way the thrust is coming. And you can get a general idea of where the thrust is going to come from by importing one of the vanilla ones. You may need to rotate it if at any point it's not actually thrusting the proper direction. For this drill head, it should rotate right here as we want it to. but if we don't have this orientation of the block properly, it could rotate like this, or it could rotate like this. And you pretty much just have to play with it from there. But you can kind of guess the idea of which way you need to turn your block to actually get the orientation properly. Another thing to note is that if you do any edits to the empty and you rotate it, never freeze the empties and what I mean by that is say I go to this empty here and people say hey you should freeze the scale of whatever so it's the proper size what they mean is going control a and then clicking on one of these now if I go location it's gonna snap to the center well I don't want that so I can't snap it to the center the origin point is where the block is actually where the empty is actually going to be. All right, so what happens if I snap the rotation? Well, it goes back to being normal. Well, I want it rotated, so I have to leave this information here. And then if I do the scale, it goes back up to being normal size. Now, the reason why people might tell you to freeze the transforms is because you might have your block misplaced. So if I have my block down here when it should be up here and I freeze the transforms on it, well it's not going to let me because it has a uh, child's to it, but I can do it to this one. So if I freeze location, it's going to move the origin point here. And that's important to note because if I modeled this here but the origin point was somewhere off over here or over here I could just select the model and tell it to apply the location to it and it'll zero all of these off if you have any information in here even the scale and you export the block it's going to be improper but for empties you need to have the information in here. All right, so that pretty much concludes everything. There's conveyors, terminals, subparts, there's conveyor small, and that's for a small ship block. There's uh, on refineries and assemblers, there's an upgrade module one, and there's a couple others that you might run into on like connectors or something like that. But for the most part, you can pretty much figure out which ones you need for your block based off of importing the vanilla block for an example of where things need to go and what does what. 
and that pretty much concludes this video. I'm going to go ahead and undo all of this vanilla block stuff. So we're left here with our empty and that deleted vertice. So this is what we have now. And the next video should be exporting our block because I believe we are mostly done. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.